Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jesse Warden here. Today we're going to talk about maybes inside of Lodash, specifically around Git or Git or. I need to do a review because it's very important you understand what a maybe is and some of the default values when you start dealing with partials in a more advanced way. Let's go into the node rebel and focus most of our time here. When you create objects and they have properties and you want to access those properties, you say the object dot the name of the property. If you misspell it, gives you either A, the value if you spell it correctly, or undefined if you misspell it. What the misspell means really is that, hey, on this object, is there a slot named name? If so, give me the value. If not, give me undefined back. Already, JavaScript kind of has a built-in maybe. Maybe it's there, maybe it's not. If it's not there, I'll give you undefined back. And this is very predictable behavior. What's not predictable is if you misspell the actual object. So in the case of cow, we could take out the W and say name, and that will explode, right? So can't really fix that. But what we can fix is the actual access of it. Now that's normal for a large object, but let's talk about one that has deeply nested properties. So we have an address that has a street called Annex Lane. And actually, let's go ahead and just name the property there. And so now this cow object has an address. And if we want to access the street, we have to do two dots. So cow dot address dot street to dot our way down into this deeply nested object structure. And we can even misspell street just like we did above. And maybe street is there, maybe not. If it's not, I'll go ahead and give you nothing. In this case, undefined. Again, we have this maybe working with this deeply nested object structure. But here is a problem. What if we misspell the one right above it? What happens? Well, it explodes. And the reason is because we are attempting to do a dot street on an undefined value. That's the exact same thing as saying undefined dot street or street. Either one will fail because undefined is not an object that you can do dot lookups on. It's not, that's not how it works. It's nothing. Unfortunately, this is ripe with danger. And it gets worse when you have arrays as well. So it's not just objects. It's arrays that have objects in them. So for example, Annex Lane is my first house, and my second is my vacation home in the Cayman Islands. Lols, I wish. Love the French. Love the weather. Love the temperature. Love the hotel. Starwood for life, baby. Now if we want to access that first address, we got to do an array index and street. This will give us the object out, and then on that object we can do dot street. So you can combine array accessors with dot properties. And if we access things that aren't there, right, so street, not so big of a deal. And if we access an item in the array that's not there, also not big of a deal. But what if we access a street on item four, even though we have two options? What actually happens? Kablooey! Again, this maybe returns undefined, and we try to do an undefined dot street. That doesn't work, and throws an error. Object accessing, array accessing, fraught with problems, and so what a lot of imperative coders will do is they'll actually extract this property by property to avoid this prop problem. They'll say add, like which is short for address, right? They'll say cow to addresses, and then they'll say, okay, add dot street. Okay, so far so good. And then it'll say add dot four, add is undefined. Okay, so there's no point in doing that street, right? And they have this very imperative code that checks for properties existence. And it's just ridiculous. The way you can avoid all of this is using git inside of Lodash. We'll import git and show you. He's basically just a maybe. And we can say cow dot addresses. And you'll notice that cow do the same thing for git. So on git, Get the address property of cow. So far, so good. We can even do deeply nested access. So on cow to addresses, we can access item one. We can do the same thing using get, using the array index. And then here, we can say street. And for the get, you can do the same thing as well. You can define, hey, on the first property, define street. So again, it's all in a string, but same, same scenario. But this will blow up once we hit a undefined somewhere in there, whereas the Lodash git will not blow up. No matter how deep we go, it will not blow up and it'll guarantee to always give us an either a values there or not. So it's an improved way of accessing objects and accessing items within arrays with the intention of actually dotting their properties. Not always do we have undefined. If you're doing front end development, React or Angular, you want to provide some kind of default value for the user. Either A, couldn't find it, it's time, we're sorry, or maybe you do know a value, in this case, get time, we can just provide a new date. Because if we can't get date from the server, we can at least provide what the time is right now on this computer.
right? Using new, new date. Let's do that. We'll import git or. It's just like git, but it says look. If you find an undefined value, can you provide this default value I'm going to give you? And so with git or, we can do the same thing we did here. Let's say unknown address. So if you don't find this slot on this object, go ahead and provide this default value. If you run it, you'll see you get unknown address. And if you access one that does exist and gives you a real value, it'll actually give you that value back. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do maybes in Lodash using Git to safely access objects and their properties. Deeply nested, that's fine, as well as arrays and mixing the two, accessing arrays and objects and nesting both of those. Using Git or, we can provide a default value when we know there's a reasonable default we can do for time and things like that. Or if we don't know, but we want to ensure on the front end, for example, on a user interface, that we have some kind of reason as to why we couldn't find it. Or if you're an API developer, these values can give you maybe a hint of what went wrong.